Welcome to forexchangetraining.com. It's 10 minutes after 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and it's 26th of July 2011. Let's take a look at S&P 500 four hour chart. Right now we are looking at it. And as far as I was uh, concerned, I was talking about it like two days ago and yesterday that we don't really see here at this point sellers coming in at the market. So uh, right now we are in this big huge consolidation at daily chart and if we take a look at four hour chart we see also smaller consolidations like this triangle for example and we see also you could say this part of the triangle that market consolidates but it doesn't really want to go to the downside when it goes through this triangle it reached some minimums and shoot out in the sky so we might see some possible another breakout occurring like uh, next day, today, this week, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, conclusion is there are no particular big sellers right now at the moment. It can change, obviously, but right now we don't see any signs of sellers coming in the market. And we are in growing big trend like for recent couple of years right now. So uh, we might expecting some more dramatic fast forward movement and it could be like the market will break out from this big uh, consolidation that you can mark also as rectangle triangle whatever you market the market is in this kind of behavior right now so we'll see how it goes uh, I hope to see some interesting movement of course it has to do some testing uh, about testing and exactly um, how to enter the market we are talking discussing more at Forex online courses uh, It takes obviously much more time than just three minutes of analysis At four hour chart of currencies pound dollar I was talking about yesterday a different website that this analysis show us that this rectangle might be really breaking out to down out sorry upside if it goes to the downside we will be not interested in this kind of behavior and that's what's really happening behavior might be interesting at 4 hour chart and we'll see how it goes at 30 minute chart the same at euro dollar and as far as I was talking about like a few days ago and recent week and week before the pound was in stronger growing trend and pound was making bigger moves comparing to euro dollar and I see right now that that has changed a little bit. I mean, the pound was doing the great move, but it might be also um, as a reason of euro dollar currency pair. So right now we see euro dollar is driving pound to the upside, not uh, at the other way. So uh, please remember the correlation between those two. It changes a lot. So sometimes the pound is driving euro dollar and sometimes euro dollar is driving pound. Right now we see the breakout occurred at euro dollar currency pair and pound is you know like struggling with this breakout. So and um, I wouldn't risk to look for possible entrance at pound unless it shows a very significant nice pattern at 30 minute chart. And I was talking yesterday that we see this beautiful uh, rectangle. Of course we won't be interested in any breakout to the downside uh, unless the um rectangle is very very long like this and twice longer that means the market consolidated and doesn't really want to go either way upside or downside and then the downside movement is more neutral and right now at this point we um, discovered like yesterday the uh, downside movement wouldn't be neutral it would be uh, kind of against the trend so we do not take any against trend movement so um, now we are thinking about getting into the market when the market is moving with a big trend and uh, we got significant buyers and uh, following this direction and of course this move at 30 minute chart euro dollar currency pair uh, was exactly the same or um, a little bit different as it's stronger and Unfortunately, this movement uh, occurred before uh, European opening, so um, it is really not valid as a trading uh, position for me as it occurred in the middle of the European night. 
so I don't really go uh, to that trade but if we if it would be like more uh, interesting characteristic at uh, after European opening it might be a good trading time for me as well as for other medium long-term traders uh, possibly too so right now we are at this point that entering the market isn't really interesting we'll see how it goes in the future maybe it will do some kind of uh, particular behavior like for example market going down rapidly and shooting up in the sky leaving just a shadow candle like on those level when the uh, breakout occurred um, those kind of big behaviors we can see like uh, many of them so uh, there are many possibilities options of uh, those interesting uh, special behaviors and more of them most of them we are discussing at forex online courses so thank you very much for listening hope to see you soon hope to you to see some more video interesting analysis thank you very much bye